up guys, thanks for checking out this guitar tutorial. In this lesson we're going to be looking at how you play Love Someone by Lucas Graham on the electric guitar. If you've got an acoustic guitar, no problem, oh, don't worry about that, just follow the chords as we go along. I'm using the electric this time because it sounds like it was played on electric guitar on the record, in fact it definitely was. So, before we do anything, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and if you find it useful, please give us a thumbs up as we go along. As always, if there's any comments, any uh, recommendations, anything you want to add, please use the comments box below and I will answer any questions that you may have uh, when I can. Right, let's take a look on how we play this song. And it's a really, really simple song to play, based around a handful of chords, all in the first position, no capo needed, and it's all in standard tuning. So let's have a look at those chords. We've got a C major. We've got an E minor. We've got an A minor got an F major. Now the chords do change ever so slightly during the uh, the verses and the choruses and the pre-choruses and the bridge so just for the time being the verse chords are those chords that I've just said so the verse chords are your C, E minor, A minor and F major as well. So let's dive in and have a look. So we've got our C major and what we're going to do we're not going to just strum we're going to pluck the way that he's doing it on the record. And what you're going to need to do is when you play your C major, you need to put your pinky finger on fret number 3 of string number 1, which is a G. And we're going to pluck it like this. So I'm plucking string number 5 and number 4 with my thumb, string number 2 with my second finger, String number three with my first finger. String number one with my third finger. And those last three notes, two, three, four. So it should sound like this. Let's slow that down. we're going to move to our E minor and again we're going to keep that pinky finger on where it is on the G. So what I'm doing with my thumb I'm plucking string number six, number five, so plucking string number two with my second finger, string number three with my first finger, finger again. I'm going from two, three, four again. So those two together. That's our A minor. String number four with my thumb, string number two with my second finger, string number three with my first finger, string number one with my third finger, and then back down those three strings again, two, three, four. Let's try all those chords together, those three chords. six and four with my thumb, string number two with my second finger, string number three with my first finger, string number uh, one with my third finger and then back down those two, those three strings again, two, three, four. So let's put all those chords together for the first verse. So 
there we go. First verse is nailed. Remember, it's the C major, E minor, A minor, then F major. Those are your first four chords. And then we've got the pre-chorus. So we're going to repeat F major, G major, to the A minor three times. change it, we're going to go to E minor, F, G, and it's as quick as that, so it goes So, pre-chorus. to our chorus section, which is So those chords are F major, G major, C major, A minor, and then the second time round you're going F major, G major, staying on that A minor for eight counts, and then we're going to do that sequence again, and we're going to finish the second the second sequence as in the last set of chords F G C major to A minor, and then back straight into the verse. So it should sound like this. nice simple song to play obviously make sure that you're plucking the right strings you can just strum the chords I've seen plenty of guitar tutorials online where they're just strumming and that's absolutely fine you can do that and you can probably play the acoustic guitar and uh, play with a singer uh, doing it in that way as well if you want to be authentic make sure that you're doing your finger picking as well make sure that you're plucking out those right strings as you go along uh, if you've got any comments, please comment below, and if you've got any recommendations, also please comment below, and I shall see you very soon. <laughs>